Oh man. It ain't no 14, 15 incher, but it's about a 12 incher. And I'll take that guys. That's 25 keepers today. What a day. That is 25 keepers guys. What a day. What a day, what a day, baby. Blessed, guys. Look at there. Blessed, blessed, blessed. What's going on, YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. Guys, I'm back out here today. Today, it is supposed to be 100 degrees here in Texas. So I'm here early. It's about 620, 625 in the morning. That is what you got to do when this heat really gets going in the summertime. You got to get out there early on the lake. But guys, today, this video is going to be all about the slip cork all right slip corking deep on brush piles i got my eight foot acc crappie sticks i have my slip cork set up uh bobber stop is here it's not adjusted to the correct depth but here's the bobber stop i have a tiny bead to guide that cork slip cork split shot barrel swivel mono leader 12 pound mono leader and then my two aught crappie hook is right here i have this rig in my boat at all times you never know when you're going to need it guys it is one of the best setups to have on your boat i have said this a thousand times and i'm going to say it again if you do not have live scope on your boat this is the crappie rig that you need on your boat i have side scan and down scan over here and then i also have down scan up here up front now we're going to be throwing buoy markers today there are the buoy markers. We're gonna be throwing those buoy markers on top of those stumps and brush piles. Once I throw those buoy markers, I'm gonna run back over the top of it with the down scan so I can get an eyeball on where exactly that brush starts. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you haven't hit that thumbs up button, go ahead, I'd greatly appreciate it. We're about to get on these crappie today. If you're already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. If you haven't hit that subscribe button and you love you some crappie fishing, Go ahead and hit it. Come join the 903 Fishing Family. All right, guys, we're about to get to it. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, just caught my first keeper. He's in the cooler. We're gonna see if there's another one there. Uh-oh. Well, there he is. Uh-oh. Feels like a good one, fish. Yeah. There's a nice white crappie right there, guys. There he is nice white that's what we're talking about right there baby let's go let's go now today guys i brought my cooler with ice it's so hot now in the summer that i don't want those crappie in that live well just i mean they're dying really really quick so i went ahead and just brought the cooler with ice in it go ahead and put them on ice let's see if we can get another one slip corking guys i'm telling you this is the way to go especially in the summertime now you know slip corking in the creeks in the winter and in the spring shallow a lot of people do that but this right here is kind of like a a lost art right here old school crappie fishing as they call it throw the buoys out slip corking minnow now i've caught two fish just on the other side of that buoy marker and both times i've thrown it past it and put it back brought it back to me sometimes those crappie want that bait going across their face they don't want it just dropping straight down on them you're just going to have to figure out what your fish and your lake like and once you figure that out that's going to help you tremendously all right guys sorry for the, no hook set on that one but check that out oh man oh that's a good fish oh yeah that's a good white crappie yeah i'm over here trying to make sure i found them for you guys before i start recording it's it's a little difficult guys filming and fishing at the same time if you've ever done it then you know there he is oh it feels like a good fish guys oh my gosh it is it's a good white crappie look at that fish come here wowza all right guys that is what we came here for right there that is a stud i'm going to give y'all a little comparison right here let me get this measure out 
I bet that's 14 maybe. 14 or so. A little just shy of 14. Just shy of 14 right there. That. That is a good crappie. Let's go, let's go. All right, guys, that is number four. Let's see if we can't get another one of them. That's what I'm talking about. I am threading those minnows on today because I was getting bit by bluegill. And I mean, those big bluegill will just take you straight under. And you, I mean, you'll jerk. And every time, you know, there's not a fish. Uh-oh. Is that him? There he is. That's the type of bite I want. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, it's a big fish. Oh my lord, guys. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Guys, that is a stud. Oh my god. Let's go. That is a big old crappie right there, guys. Oh man, that's bigger than that last one. That is bigger than the last one. That's the type of bites that I want right there. Oh my gosh. All right, remember that last one was almost 14. I bet this one's 15. 14 and a half. 14 and a half inches. I was almost correct, almost 15. That right there is a stud fish. Especially for this lake that I'm fishing. This is a stud crappie. Look at the mouth. Big old crappie, guys. Slip cork and minnow. Slip corking for crappie, man. I'm telling you. You definitely need to try this out if you haven't. That's number five for today. That's what you're looking for when you go for crappie fishing right there. 14 and a half inch crappie on any lake is a stud. Is that him? Oh my gosh. I think it's a small one. Oh no, 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 no. Look at there, guys. That is another good fish. What are you doing? Oh, wow. And look at there, guys. Look at that minnow. I still got it. Threading that minnow on there. That's another good fish right there. Of course, when you catch a 14 and a half incher, and then you catch a what 12 a almost 13 inch fish that right there that's what i'm talking about that's six right there i'm gonna go ahead and get this clicker out i'm feeling i'm feeling optimistic this morning guys this right here is a baseball pitch counter this is what i use i need a new one this one's all rusted but number six of the day right there we ain't been out here very long Let's see how many we can get this up to. 25 in the state of Texas. That's the limit. I'm not saying I'm going to catch a limit today, but it's always great to have a goal. And then let's see what we can do today. Uh-oh. Right, there's a crappie. I'm going to check the inches on him. You know. Don't think he's going to make it. Actually, he is. Ten and a half. Ten and a half inches, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ten and a half on that one. All right, guys. Spot number two for the day. I think I have eight keepers in there. Just caught a keeper fish right before I started filming. Trying to get on these keeper crappie today. Uh-oh, there's a crappie, I think. Yeah, it's a crappie. Oh, black crappie, look at there. That might be a keeper right there. I'm gonna see what he looks like right there. It's a good fish. Let's see here. Yeah, yes sir, 10 and a half inch crappie guys. That is a keeper fish. Oh, not the biggest fish. I believe that's number 10 right there. 
Let's see if we can't get another one. You know what, guys? I'm going to use that same minnow. I'm going to toss that same minnow back out there. I'm going to work it back to me like a jig. Let's see if I can get another crappie. Oh, is that him? And there he is. Look at there. Same minnow. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, it's a white. Look at there. Look at that crappie. Same minnow, guys. So that's two. Two. No, don't do it. Where are you going, guy? Boy, you suckers playing with me today. Look at that, guys. Same minnow. Two fish off the same minnow. And this one's actually about, probably about 12, 13-inch crappie right here. This is what I want. I didn't, I mean, no need to measure this one. Let's put it in cooler baby all right guys that's number 11 let's go let's go a lot of people ask me why why do i not get closer to the buoy markers when i'm fishing well guys i've already explained this once and i'm going to say it again those buoy markers are not exact okay if there's waves if there's wind if there's current when you throw those buoy markers out they're going to move they already rotate in a circle and they move or anywhere i would say five to ten feet around that buoy marker that is where the actual brush top could be it really just depends on a few factors and you got to make sure you're putting all those factors into play because the, the buoy marker is here but i'm catching fish about 10 feet to the back of it i like to be off of that buoy marker and i like to cast around the buoy marker i don't like to be right up on it you just never know where those crappie are going to be on that brush top especially fishing without live scope you don't know where they're going to be and since i have two two uh brush piles marked right here stop getting bites on this one so i'll just go ahead oh and look at there there's a fish i don't know how big it is black crappie look like it's gonna be a keeper guys that's what it looks like Let's put him in the checker real quick. See what he looks like. Look at there. Ten and a half inches, baby. That is a keeper fish. See, that's one thing you can't really determine doing the slip corking, guys, is you can't pick off the bigger fish. Really, you know, you can't determine what fish you're gonna catch. You're just throwing that live minnow down there and just hoping for the best. Let's see if there's another one down there real quick. Stop getting bites on this one, on this pile. So I'm over here fishing this pile now. First cast over there, caught a little keeper fish. Uh oh, there he is. Uh, oh well, it's a black crappie because he's running. You know what? That's bigger than that other one, I think. Hmm. Let's see what he looks like. He may be a little bit shorter. That's what it looks like to me. Nope. Ten and a half, guys. Ten and a half inch crappie. We're rolling. We're rolling right now. Let's go. Let's get it. Oh, man. Look at that white crappie. Let's go. That's a good fish. That's a decent white crappie right there. I'll take that all day, guys. All day. That's 14, guys. That's 14. Keep a crappie. Is there another one? That is the question. Is it going to be 15, baby? Slip cork and crappie, guys. I'm telling you. I told you this video today was going to be all about slip corking. All right, I'm going to show you all the importance of that slip cork rig. And there he is. I don't know how big he is. Oh, another good white crappie. Look at there, guys. The importance of this slip cork rig. Dang, he was hungry. He bleeding. Guys, I'm going to have to get this off camera. Try not to get blood all in the boat, but that's going to be a keeper anyway, so I'll be back in one second. All right, guys, that, that fish right there, 11-inch crappie. 
11 inch white so that was the 15th crappie for today let's see there's number 15 right there you gotta let that slip cord go all the way to the bottom well let me rephrase that all the way up to your bobber stop that's what determines what depth you're fishing the bluegill were not this bad last summer oh, there's another crappie it looks like look at that oh i think that's gonna keep black crappie are feisty guys feisty let's see here Look at that, 10 and a half. Almost 10 and three fourths, guys. Almost. All right, let's go. That right there, 16, baby. 16. Can we get that limit? Oh, there he is. That feels like a better fish. Oh, it is, guys, 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 guys. Look at that fish. I got him all wrapped up, but that, mm. ooh, 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 that's what we're looking for, guys. Let's go. That, that is what we're looking for right there. That is a solid fish. Solid, solid, solid. It's so hard to do this when the camera's on my chest for you guys. Let's see if I can do it. That's a 14 inch crappie. That's a 14 inch crappie, bam. That is a nice fish. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's number 17. Let's keep riding, baby. Let's go. Yeah, I caught that one on this side of that buoy. Uh oh, there he is. There he, right by the boat. Oh, it's another white. And it's a keeper too. Okay, I had to clean the camera off, guys. That's a solid fish. Not as big, as, not no 14. <laughs> Ain't no 14 incher. But I mean, this one's gonna be 12. If you've been around the channel, y'all know me. I have no reason to lie about how big a fish it is so there's 18 guys if you don't have live scope and you don't have a slip cork rig on your boat i i don't know what else to tell you i i'm trying to prove to y'all that you don't need all those fancy electronics equipment to catch fish i mean yes i have down scan down scan and side scan but i mean it's no live scope you don't have to have it save you up some money get you a helix 7 or even a garmin that has side scan and down scan on it and you will be happy you will be happy you will be able to do this right here and it's for twice as less money as the live scope so this brush top right here is in about 18 feet of water but it comes up till about seven so it's hard to fish right on top of the brush pile i'm having to fish the sides of it I'm fishing 12 foot deep on the side of these brush piles. I'm not sitting right over it because it comes up so high. So I'm running, look at there, there he is. I'm running this slip court in minnow across the side of it. And look at there, that is another good fish. Wow, that is another good fish right there. Another 12 incher. Hey guys, look at the minnow. I still got it, we're gonna try to catch another one all right it's not as big as some of those other white crappie but i know he's 10 he's probably 12. no 11 and a half 11 and a half inch white crappie not bad uh-oh that is number 19 let's go i am fishing a little further out there though let's give that minnow some pops i usually pop it about three or four times and I let it sit there for about three to four seconds pop let it sit there. Pop. God, wait. Look at that. Uh-oh, that's a good fish. If this is a crappie, guys, this is a good fish. Oh, buddy. Look at there. 
The third fish on that minnow is a 13 inch crappie. Wow. Look at that. And guess what, guys? I still got, I still got that minnow. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is awesome. That is awesome right there, guys. Oh. Hey, guys. That's 20. You always want to throw past where you're getting bit. Okay. You don't, a lot of the times, crappie are weird. They're, crappie are chasers. They're, they're, uh, they're aggressive like that. They want to go get that bait. Oh, is that another good fish? Oh, it's going to be a keep. I know that. You know what? We're going to let him go, guys. Look at there. Same minnow. I'm trying to let these last five fish. We got 20 in the cooler right now. I'm trying to let these last five be some good ones. You know, I'm blessed with whatever bites. I'm trying to get these bigger crappie. That was a keeper fish. These crappie are stacked on this pile today. They're stacked up. Oh, was that him? That's him. Uh oh. If that's a crappie, that feels like a good one. That's not a crappie. Is it? Oh my gosh. Look. <laughs> oh my lord that is what we want baby let's go that's a good fish oh my gosh i ain't gotta measure that one and i know that's at least 12 probably over 12. oh man what a fish let's go guys what a day on the water what a day 21. you gotta be you gotta be grateful for days like this guys because it doesn't happen all the time okay it really doesn't when when the crappie are biting like this and i can get away from the bluegill man I, I am thankful it's all get out but that's 21 let's see if i can get another one got a little sweet spot over there guys i'm literally running that minnow across the area where i've been catching all my fish and honestly as soon as it comes in that area it's game over hey guys y'all already know i don't think i've said it today but eight foot acc crappie sticks all right super grip 10 pound power pro braid and of course my slip cork setup now i'm gonna have it linked at the end of this video i've had some good reviews on it they um everyone says it's very um to the point uh step by step not confusing you um i've thought about redoing it oh there he is oh is that a good one? Oh my gosh look at that oh my gosh oh my gosh what a day the lord has made right here guys another good crappie and i got that minnow guys but i bet a bluegill eats it off while i'm doing this what a fish i mean this is awesome right here that is 22, 22. There's one, I think. Oh, it feels like a good fish. Oh, it is. is that a black crappie? Oh, wow, it is. That's the biggest black crappie of the day right there. Wow. Oh, and he swallowed me. All right, he swallowed me. All right, guys, I got that hook out for y'all that's a good fish he bleeding a little bit that's the biggest black crappie of the day right there and that is going to be number 20 three let's go all right guys last two fish are being really tricky what i'm going to do is i'm going to go a foot deeper than what i've been fishing Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Uh-oh. Could it be? Oh, man. Oh, look at there. Look at that. I went a foot deeper, guys. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's number 24 right there, baby. 24. Put him in the cooler. Put him in the cooler, baby. 
All right, guys. That's 24. Let's get this last fish. All right, guys. That was 24. I'm starting to sweat. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, and I'm sweating bullets. I went a foot deeper on this pile. Well, actually, I guess maybe about a foot and a half because I, I went a couple inches deeper, and then it didn't work. Still bluegill. Then I said, why not try it? And I went a whole nother foot deeper. So I'm about a foot and a half deeper than what I was catching those crappie. And I can almost tell you the reason why, pretty positive, getting hotter out here, guys. So these crappie, they'll start off higher in the water column in the morning because it's cooler. As it, the day goes on, as that water warms, they'll go deeper in that water column. Uh-oh. Oh man, it ain't no 14, 15 incher, but it's about a 12 incher. And I'll take that guys. That's 25 keepers today. What a day. That is 25 keepers guys. What a day. What a day. What a day, baby. Blessed guys. Look at there. Blessed, blessed, blessed. Ice. Over the top of them. Look at that. Wow, 25 crappie today. All right, guys, I'm about to head back to the boat ramp. There's my limited crappie right there today. I'm also going to go more in depth over this slip cork setup. I'm telling you guys, you need to get it on your boat. Y'all be sure to stay tuned. What's going on, guys? We're back at the boat ramp. Check out this limited crappie right here. A limit of Texas crappie all over 10 inches in the state of Texas guys these fish were stacked up on brush piles today and I honestly I only fished three set of brush piles the third set that I went to that is where I caught the majority of my fish they were just stacked up and I caught a lot of fish in a short amount of time all my fish today were caught on my eight foot ACC super grip I know they've been out on the website recently hopefully Andy will get them back on there Go check out acccrappiesticks.com. Go pick you up the ultimate crappie fishing rod. They have a rod for any type of crappie fishing imaginable, whether you're casting, slip corking, vertical jigging, or trolling. ACC Crappie Sticks has it all. I want to take a second and show y'all this slip cork setup real close for a second. Guys, I'm telling you, if you do not have this simple setup in your boat, especially in the deep summertime, you'll be able to reach those crappie that are 15, 20, 25 foot down and you'll be able to put a live minnow right in front of their face i'm telling you right now this is the crappie rig that you need to have in your boat now guys it starts off with an easy bobber stop right here all right you can control this bobber stop you can put, move this to any depth that you want to and that slip cork is going to go up to that depth all right i have a 12 pound mono leader right here attached to a barrel swivel and then on that barrel swivel i have my 10 pound power pro braid that is of course on my reel i have two split shots size three split shots then i have my como slip bobber right here i prefer yellow because i am colorblind so i need to be able to see something bright in the water but i have the slip cork right here and that's all it is guys of course you have a minnow on this end at the end of this video i'm going to have my how to rig my slip cork video linked on the screen so you can find it it's going to be easy to click on it is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to rig this crappie rig right here i've had great feedback on that video i try to simplify it as much as possible and i'm trying my best to put y'all on these crappie especially in the deep summertime I want to shout out these monster crappie members real quick. We have Jesse Stucker over at Dead River Baits, deadriverbaits.com. Use code 903 to get you 15% off your entire order. Michael McCavitt, that's Open Water Mike on YouTube. Thank you for the support. 217 Rebel Outdoors, you can check him out on YouTube. Just go ahead and go hit that subscribe button for him and don't forget about that notification bell. 
Albert Hysaw, thank you for the support. John Barrett, as always, thank you, brother. And Chad Williams, he is a local here in the Tyler area. Thank you so much for the support. Those are your Monster Crappie members. If you want to become a channel member for the 903 Fishing Channel, all you got to do is hit that little blue join button beside that subscribe button, and it's going to give you all the tiers and the pricing. All proceeds go directly back into the 903 Fishing Channel. It is a great way to help and support the channel to keep this content rolling for you guys. Also, don't forget about channel merch 903 fishing merchandise the link to the website will also be in the description of this video go ahead and go pick you up some 903 fishing merch today well that's going to end my day here guys once again 25 crappie all over 10 inches in the state of texas that is good for a limit of crappie if you like this video go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me i would greatly appreciate it also leave a comment in the comment section on what was your favorite part of this video if you're already subscribed to the 903 fishing channel thank you so much god bless you you know i would not be doing this without you guys if you haven't hit that subscribe button and you love you some crappie fishing whether it be from a boat bank or kayak go ahead and hit it come join the 903 fishing family you won't regret it like always like comment and subscribe to 903 fishing y'all have a great day God bless.